So we got some uh, another poll just dropped. Uh, every Sunday polls do drop in the afternoon, and I just found some really interesting information. It looks like Justin Trudeau is losing even more ground somehow. I didn't even know if it was going to be possible for him to lose ground in the spot where he's losing ground, and that's the interesting part. Now, just before we get into this, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps grow the channel, and also drop your comments in the comment section as well. So the Conservatives, 43%, not really much of a change there. But if you look at the Liberals, 21%, and the NDP's at 19 they're neck and neck right now. The NDP actually gained a point or two uh, based off of this abacus uh, data polling model that we see here that was, again, just released about an hour or so ago. Uh, the seat count on this, it looks like the Conservatives would get 225, Liberals 43, Bloc 41, NDP 32. Now, again, I know the, the NDP is kind of you know, ripped up their agreement, even though they didn't really rip up any agreement. But I guess, you know, some liberals are maybe going over to the NDP now because they just figure that Justin Trudeau's done. And now that Jagmeet Singh is really ramping up his campaign, um, you know, his, his hit pieces on Pierre Polyev, I guess they're getting a little bit of a shift there. And that being said, I don't expect that to hold. I think that, you know, this whole Jagmeet Singh coming out and pretending that he's really here for Canadians is, is just a bunch of bullshit. People are going to figure it out. We know he's a coward. We know he's trying to be a, some tough guy calling out Pierre Polyev and citizens on the street when there's cops around. But, you know, nobody's intimidated by, by that guy. Nobody respects that guy. No one actually likes that guy. So that's not going to hold, in my opinion. But the interesting part, this isn't a riding map of Toronto. Super liberal Toronto. Again, this is from Abacus. And uh, so Polling Canada just sent a message here too saying, while that every seat in the city went liberal in 2021, and now they're picking up less than half. Now the NDP, again, they're only picking up three seats. But look at all the blue. I mean, look at, look, I mean, Pierre Polyev is taking over Toronto. I mean, it's, it's kind of crazy because again, Montreal, Toronto, super, super liberal, you know, hot spots in Canada, right? I mean, that's when, when the Liberals get a lot of seats and win a majority, they basically sweep Toronto. Well, they're not even going to get half this time. I mean, this is beautiful to see. I hate seeing the red because it should be all gone. It should be just a sea of blue, but it is, again, it's Toronto. It's like where I live here in Hamilton, you're going to see some blue, but you're going to see a lot of orange too, unfortunately. But that being said, Justin Trudeau is losing even more ground in a stronghold, right? If he can't get it, which he's not going to, but he's there is zero chance. When he looks at something like this and when his cabinet members, when his MPs are looking at this, you know they're thinking, okay, so half of us are going to lose our job because this incompetent moron won't reach out and actually do something good for Canadians. He keeps saying he is, but then Canadians keep struggling. 25% of people have to go to fucking food banks in this country. That's disgusting. We're a first world country. We're supposed to be thriving, a, a thriving country, and we're not. We're struggling. Rent is insane. Wages have gone up, what, 2% in 15 years? Well, rent has more than doubled. Like, <laughs> it's, and he keeps saying, oh, we're here to fight climate change. No, you're drowning us with taxes, and it's going up again in April, again in April. I mean, he's just not going to stop until the middle class is completely wiped out. It's insane. But again, Canada finally is waking up and going over to the conservatives. And again, I don't want to get complacent. When you look at this map, you should be excited and hopeful. But don't get complacent. You must get out there and vote. We need to send a message to these socialist, communist, wannabe parties and say, no, this is Canada. This is a free country. They clearly don't want to make it that way. And if you don't believe me, just look into Bill C-63. Uh, Northern Perspective covered that fantastically. I think they got a live stream tonight, so go check them out as well. But, you know, Bill C-63 has passed into second reading, which means it's moving a little bit further along in Parliament, which is, of course, bad news for people like me, but it's bad for anyone. That bill has legislation in it where you can go to jail for using words. I mean, it doesn't get more totalitarian than that. I mean, it's just, it's disgusting. We need to wake up. Again, do not get complacent. Get out there and vote. And let's also push for an election as soon as possible. Because if Bill C-63 ends up passing, again, it, it won't, it's going to take a while for it, even if it does pass. But if it does, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, the conservatives will get rid of it. 
in a year from now, maybe less. Either way, it's it's you know it's an it's an anxious it's like a you know it's it's going to trigger a lot of anxiety for people because it's like, well, wait a minute, am I even allowed to speak in my country? And that's a terrible feeling to have. Again, especially if you're supposed to live in a free country. So let's go, Canada. Let's take our country back from these awful totalitarian, authoritarian wannabe parties, and let's make Canada great again. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave your comments. And I'll be back shortly with a new